Welcome back to another Top 5 Tuesday. And today we're covering some of the most impressive features and things that the PS3 has that I have only recently discovered after recently purchasing the PS3. Now the PS3 is a very, very old system releasing in 2006. However, some of the features that they have or it has are truly remarkable in 2024, something that we kind of lost on the way when we moved up until the PS5. So let's run through these five features that I think are standouts and, well, the ones that really speak to me the most. Let's hop straight into it, and this is in no particular order, but at the, or the first one, let's say, is the fact that you can use different controllers. You are not stuck with just using the regular DualShock 3. Now, by all means, this controller isn't the worst controller on the planet, but in the PlayStation lineup, it might just be. I don't know what it is about the PS3 controller, but even holding it, it doesn't feel as sturdy or as nice as something like the PS2 controller, which was a generation before it. The arching triggers are something that I really do not like. And yeah, when I was playing God of War, um, Chains of Olympus, I played pretty much the whole game with this controller and it just didn't feel right. And then a couple weeks ago, I discovered that you can actually connect pretty much any controller to the PS3, including the new DualSense 5. Now, while I have done that and there is a short of that on my channel, I actually think the best controller to connect is the DualShock 4. This works more readily and has actual support on the PS3 system. Whereas the DualShock or the DualSense, sorry, is a little bit more finicky. You actually still have to keep your DualShock 3 connected and use that to navigate menus. And yeah, it's just a little bit of a workaround. So I actually think the DualShock 4 here is probably the best controller for the PlayStation 3. But as I said, pretty much any controller can be recognized by the PS3. It is that good at recognizing controllers. And I'm starting to realize that's probably why we can't do that on PS4 with the DualSense 5, which really sucks. But I digress. That is just one of my favorite things about the PS3 is the fact that I don't actually have to be tied down to using the DualShock 3. Now, another one that is sort of controller related and a little bit weird is I really enjoy the Move controllers and the Move camera. I thought this was going to be so gimmicky and it is. But I really enjoy it. It's something that um, I never really did very much of the Nintendo Wii or the only thing that I actually have a lot of experience with is Xbox Connect or Kinect or however you want to say it. And that was cool and all and I always liked that motion gameplay. But I really enjoy my time with um, Sports Champions and the PlayStation Move controllers. I am not going to show you guys a video of that because I do not want to be looking like some flapping around fish on a video on YouTube so we'll just ignore that you'll see some nice overlay shots of the kill zone controller and all of those things and the move controllers but I am not showing you me flapping around trying to in some way make a hole in one in disc golf that's the one game that I actually enjoy the most or maybe even table tennis but we will not be showing you guys that now when the PS3 was originally released this third entry on our list is something that they heavily marketed and that is it's a media hub it is a complete system that wanted to do all the things that your tv and entertainment systems could do and offer every possible way of doing so so it introduced blu-ray or not introduced it included a blu-ray drive for the first time and as we know blu-ray beat out hd dvd even though now we pretty much have none of those it's just digital streaming and content on Netflix and stuff, which the PS3 still does and still can do. So it is not even outdated in that regard. You can still watch your Amazon Prime, your Disney, actually, no, sorry, not Disney, your Amazon Prime, your Netflix, YouTube, all those things are still accessible on the PlayStation 3. Now, another way that it's a media entertainment system is the fact that it, well, that didn't sound good. Anyways. It is the system where you can connect your, sorry, you can connect your PSP and your PS Vita to the PlayStation 3 and have it be this console manager where you can then distribute all your different types of media onto these systems, your music, your photos, your videos. It's an incredible system that is actually the central hub of all things PlayStation. If your PlayStation ecosystem still exists, 
the very likelihood of the PlayStation 3 still being the central aspect of that is very high because it is the one system that can still do all of these things properly and functionally. Whereas the PS4 and the PS5 don't really have these features. Obviously they have your video streamings and you can sort of watch, um, you can sort of watch your movies or flash drives and stuff, but not to the same extent that the PS3 can do. And even with that being said, like we have Plex servers and stuff like that, the PS5 and PS4's implicate in or not implications. Um, I can't think of the word. The way that they use these things aren't to the same degree that the PS3 does. The PS3 is far superior in this regard. Now, another one that is sort of a cool feature that I didn't really include in um, my breakdowns and talking about the PS3 is all PS3 systems can play PS1 discs. Now, I have the current problem where I have now upgraded to the PS, uh, the new TV and the PS1 and PS2 still run off AV cables. So at the moment, I'm not really playing them as much as I used to. Um, and the PS1 was a, t a system that I never really played as much. I used to just play my discs off the PS2. Now though, I can play my PS1 games off of the PS3 and they actually look really, really good. So I'm keen to show you guys that. And I think that is one of the most standout features that any PS1 or any PS3, I should say, can play PS1 games. Obviously, they are region locked, so you can't play your Japanese PS1 games on your South African PS3 or vice versa. You can't play your Japanese um, or you can't play your South African PS1 games on your Japanese PS3. That's just unfortunately how the region lock works for those systems and those titles. However, you can play your Japanese PS3 games on your South African PS3. So the region lock kind of happened at the ps3 or ended at the ps3 so your ps2 and game uh, ps2 and down can't be played on the opposite regions or opposing regions but the ps3 games can be played on the ps3 so that's cool and all um but the last thing that i really really enjoy about the ps3 is the fact that you can still play games off the disc you do not need to install the games onto your system to be playing them. Now, I know that is a very niche and odd thing to have as your number one, but when you get the 128 gig model PS3 and you kind of have limited space, the fact that all the games are basically played off of the disc except the select few really, really shows how I miss this feature. Um, I know we have games that require two discs and the install size and then the play disc. It's it sucks, it, it really does suck, but I like having that feature. It was really cool when I discovered that I didn't actually need to install all these games onto my PS3 and to just play them. Something that I really miss these days, um, playing games off the PS2 and off the PS1 discs were really cool. And the fact that the PS3 still does that is even better. So let me know what your five favorite features of the PlayStation 3 or whatever your favorite feature is of the PlayStation 3. I'll check you in the next video and I hope you will Join me then on Friday. Cheers.